Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video we're going to be discussing about the 40 OS 7.6.0 new ZTNA feature. So let's get started. All right, so uh, we'll go to the uh, website document.fortinet.com and then we'll click on the 40 gate. Make sure that you are in the 7.6.0 uh, uh, version. Now we're going to scroll back, click on new feature, and we're going to click on zero trust network access features. Now let's browse the uh, general feature first. The first feature we want to talk about is ZTNA support for UDP traffic. Now uh, ZTNA supports UDP traffic if you have 40 client 741 and later, if the 40 client discovered that the destination uh, is uh, heading for or destination is a UDP uh, connection, it will, uh, 40 client will form a UDP connection over uh, quick to the uh, 40 gate ZTNA gateway. And of course, after, since we have ZTNA after doing authentication, after doing the security poster check and authorization, 40 gate will form a connection with the ZTNA uh, destination um, or 40 gate forms connection with the uh, internal destination and you would have end-to-end -end UDP traffic pass through. Now, uh, on the 40 client EMS, when you configure the ZTNA uh, destination, as uh, you can uh, you can have, th there's a video about ZTNA destination uh, that I have on my uh, channel. You can refer to that in the description. Uh, but uh, you need to make sure that you enable UDP when you create the ZTNA destination on the 40 client EMS. This is just a graph just to do an overview. We're not going to do a lab in this video. We're just doing an overview demo on the feature. Now, this remote uh, endpoint is destined, uh, is, uh, it's sending UDP traffic to this destination uh, behind the 40 gates. Now, once the 40 client endpoint would know that this is the thing, UDP is going to encapsulate the traffic over quick and uh, is going to be sending this traffic to the ZTNA application gateway 10.0.3.10. 40 gate would establish connection and you would have end to end uh, UDP traffic pass through. Now, this uh, shows you how you configure this uh, feature uh, on the 40 client EMS when you create the DNA application. Like we said, we need to enable the UDP. This is how it show up on the 40 client. Uh, I'll try to make a video, uh, an actual lab demo, demonstrate this feature. Now, another feature is ZTNA support for SaaS application access uh, and GUI. So this feature was available before in the CLI, but now you could uh, uh, specify the SaaS application and the ZTNA uh, server uh, mapping. So if we go to policy ZTNA, edit the ZTNA server, go to servers or server mapping, we can find the uh, SaaS CASB uh, application added in the uh, GUI. Another feature we want to talk about is the including of the primary EMS tag and secondary EMS tag in the logs. All right, so we could see these logs uh, now in the ZTNA uh, logs. Um, there is another feature which is shared ZTNA information through the EMS connector. And this is available in 40 client EMS 725 or 741. Now, um, this feature is uh, previously when you're configuring TCP or a SaaS application and the ZTNA destination, you have to manually configure it on the 40 client or 40 client EMS. Now, with this feature enhancement, 40 gate would share any ZTNA information um, uh, such as the ZTNA uh, VIP address and application address and port with the EMS connector. So on the 40 client EMS, the configured ZTNA TCP and SAS application are pulled into the ZTNA catalog and can be um, the ZTNA destination without any additional configuration. All right. I, I wanted to show one more feature, but this feature is more related to the VPN, but it's also using the ZTNA. So I'll go to release nodes and I'll go to... Um, new feature, I think it's under VPN. Uh, 
All right, let's see. I think I missed that. Yeah, so uh, here's the VPN. Now, the feature is that you can specify when you establish a, a dial-up VPN connection with a remote, um, uh, you know, um, destination, you could uh, specify uh, gateway match as the ZTNA, and you can specify the remote VPN IP address as a ZTNA tag. So enforce that security poster and uh, the dialogue uh, connection would be formed for this VPN only if this uh, IP address has been a match or remote gateway IP address. All right. So uh, that's it for this uh, video. I hope you guys had a good understanding of the uh, new ZTNA feature. Now stay tuned for my future video. See you later.